Hello, fellow chuckin' friends. It's Thankful Thursday. Hello, hello, and I am so thankful for all of you. Welcome, welcome. I'm Macon Maria, your independent chalk couture designer, and we are whipping up some tea towels tonight. We like to do tea towels for Thankful Thursday because they're super easy to ship. So for those of you who are not local, it's very easy for me to get you your prizes when you win because tea towels work really well. And I hope Mary is going to join us tonight. Um, Mary asked me a question last night when we were making our video and I totally did not answer her. <laughs> and I told her I was going to. I had told Mary she wanted to know if our transfers from last night would fit on a towel. And yes, they do. And yes, we're going to do them tonight on a towel so that you can see. So that when you think about your transfers and you think about owning your transfers, you realize that, oh my goodness, they're so versatile and I can use them on so many different things. So hello, everybody. We got everybody here. Holy cow. All right. So hey, Debbie. Hey, Terry. Hey, Carol. Terry. Lisa. Welcome. Welcome. If you're new to our videos, please say hi, because I like to say hi and know who's watching, and then I can talk to you. Thank you, Carol, for sharing my video. Very much appreciate that. So on Thankful Thursday, we make a project. And if you do what Carol did, and our, we go out into the world 10 times, then I start giving things away. But, full disclosure, I'm in a really good mood today, so I'm giving stuff away today anyway. <laughs> please hit that button anyway. I'll give more away if we hit 10. But um, I'm in a really good mood. So, And we have not given away stuff in a long time. And last week we didn't do Thankful Thursday. So I think we should play some games. We should have some fun. And we should give some stuff away. So how the games work is usually we pay Tammy. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Jan. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Nicole. Welcome, everybody. So if you can hit that button and send us out into the world 10 times, um, we'll give away our project. But I have other stuff to give away too. So, I'm digressing. How we, how we win, or how we play the game, <laughs> is we play Family Feud. So I read a question from Family Feud, and uh, you know, that however many people were surveyed and the top an five answers are on the board, you have to try to guess what the top answer is. Whoever guesses the top answer and is the first person I see that guessed that answer is the winner. And then we mail out our fun prizes. Um, depending on where you are, if you're local, then I can deliver them, which is always easier for you. Um, but if I have to mail them, then you pay for shipping. So that's how the games work. So we're gonna start out, I got my little cards here. So. We play Family Feud, and uh, we give away stuff. So, if you can hit that share button, I greatly appreciate it. It sends me out there. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Lori. Welcome to our chalking party. Oh, Linda, Linda Squared is here. Oh, my goodness. Lots of you are here tonight. All right. So, whew, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about chalk couture. Chalk couture is chalk in the halls, walls, accents, and accessories of homes across America. We were created to be designed, loved, and repeated for every season and any reason. And we bring easy, high-end DIY home decor directly to you. And we do that by offering reusable adhesive silk screen transfers, chalkology paste, couture ink, surfaces that you can create on, accessories to make chalking super easy and fun. And this is an easy, 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 stress-free, creative way to just relax and have a moment. <laughs> I'd like to say everybody should relax and have a moment, right? Okay, so let's show you what we're doing today. Oops, helps if I hit the right buttons. So I have my little paste carrier. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. So I store my inks in here. I have far too, ooh, look, hi. Hi, Mom. One moment. Oh, what brings you here? I dropped off the forms for Whitewater and the Dylan display. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, say hi to the ladies nope. and gentlemen. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> These college students, you know. All right. Well, have a great night. Love you, Mom. See ya. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Nice socks. I know, right? Those are very blue. They're bana they have bananas on them. They have bananas on them? Yeah. Okay. We State are fair for three bucks. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sorry. 
that was a surprise. He's not supposed to be here. Ooh, okay, anyways, again, I'm digressing. So I keep all my inks in my cute little uh, carrier, and it holds 18 inks. I can't keep my chalk in here because I have too many chalks, but um, it's really nice for carting my ink around and uh, storing it. So I do store my ink in here. It's got two sides, holds nine on each side. Super nice way to kind of keep your stuff condensed. Because I can tell you, this is why I'm in such a good mood tonight. I'm cleaning out my basement, the craft room side of my basement where I do my workshops. I'm blowing it out. I call it my basement blowout. And you kind of spread out if you don't have a nice little containment unit. So this is my nice little containment unit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show Mary, because she asked the question about last night's transfers, is could we do them on a towel? And yes, you could totally do them on a towel. So I have these very pretty, very nice uh, flower sack towels. I love these towels. Now, not all flower sack towels are created equally. I'm the first one to say that you can buy them in all kinds of different price points. Um, things I have found in buying them is sometimes they're not really a rectangle. Um, sometimes they're really poor quality. They're super thin. So you want to be very conscious of the quality of your flower sack towel, depending on what you're going to use it for, right? Um, but they are kind of all over the board when you look at them. But I have found these. I buy them at that uh, place on the computer that sends you things. Um, and they're really nice. They're not inexpensive, though, compared to... You know, you can buy them at some places, you know, the big discount places. You can buy 10 of them for 8 bucks. They're super thin and not always a rectangle. These are much pricier than that, but not crazy pricey by any means. And they're super nice towels. So just be aware of your towel, the quality of it when you go to buy it. The other thing you want to be aware of is how bumpy is it? How textured is it? What kind of fabric is it? Because that makes a big difference as to how your ink will apply to it. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to take these transfers that we used last night. Last night we used these on a chalkboard, and I showed you how cute they could be um, for the holidays. And we had house plus love equals home, come sit a spell, and our lives are full of thanks and giving. This is the one Mary was wondering if this would fit on a towel, and this will fit on a towel very nicely because it's nice and narrow. These are a little wider, so it kind of depends on how you hang your towel. Um, you know, do you hang them on the handle of your stove? Do you hang them on a hook? Um, how do you fold your towels? Kind of really decides, you know, what design you can put on what towel. This one um, will work very nicely because, again, it's narrow. So it's narrow and it'll fit in the thirds of a towel, um, which makes it a, an ideal transfer for a towel. These guys are lovely and will make a really super cute towel, but you can't fold it the same way. So that's how the towels work. So we are going to ink. Inking is very similar to chalk, um, except it's permanent when you heat set it. And we are not actually going to demonstrate heat setting this evening because there's five million videos out there where I've demonstrated heat setting and we're gonna make multiple towels. So to save time, I'm not gonna show you heat setting, but it's just ironing. You iron it for four minutes on one side, you flip it over, you iron it for four minutes on the other side. Very easy. Um, important step because once you do that now you can throw them in the washing machine and that ink isn't going to go anywhere. It's a very important step to the inking process but um, I'm not going to demonstrate for you how to do that. So let's play a game. Are you ready? You got, got your fingers? We're going to play our first game. So how this works, I read the question, you type your answer. Now Facebook, full disclosure here, Facebook has uh, a delay. So what I'm saying right now you're not going to hear for anywhere from 3 to 20 seconds later. It depends on the delay in Facebook, your internet speed, my internet speed, and everybody is seeing something different at a slightly different time. So, I play the game very fairly. I turn my comments off. I read the question. I work on the project. And then I say I'm going to look up. And I look up. Whoever is the first comment I see that has the correct answer, the number one answer, is the person that wins. So understand that you might be seeing something completely different on your screen. And that's okay. It just means we play the game by how what I see. So, are you ready? 
Oh, so my answer, my moral to that is type your answer more than once. The more you type your answer, um, the more it will get seen. Okay, ready? Oh, can't show you the questions. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> this is a very good one. You ready? Okay, everybody type away. There are one, two, three, four. There's top five answers are on the board. Name, oh, I gotta turn my comments off. Okay, hang on, I gotta turn my comments off. All right. Name something specific everyone complains about. Name something specific that everyone complains about. And while you guys are typing away your answers, I'm gonna open up our towel. When you uh, look at your towel, you wanna be conscious of if they have a hanger. Good quality towels will have a hanger on them because sometimes you hang it from a hook. If you're gonna hang it from a hook like that, then you're gonna put your design diagonally here in the corner so that when you hang it, it's what you see. If you're going to fold your towel and hang it over a um, bar, like on your stove, then you can put it in the middle. It's really your choice as to where you put it. But for uh, demonstration purposes this evening, I've never done it this way before, let's do it diagonally. We're gonna do it based on the hook. Plus, I think this one transfer will look really nice with that. Okay, so you're all typing away. I'm assuming, I hope you're typing away, because this, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna turn my comments back on here in just a second. So make sure you have typed in your answer more than once, hopefully. Um, and where's my question, here's my question, okay. Name something specific everyone complains about. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my comments, I'm gonna turn them on here, and then I'm gonna turn them on here. Linda, Linda squared says weather. And that is the number two answer. Heather says traffic. Hey, Heather, welcome to our chalk and party. That's the number five answer. Carol, ding, ding, ding. Carol, you are always so lucky when we play. Carol said money. The number one answer is money. So here's our answers. Money, weather, taxes, work, and traffic. So Carol, you are our big winner for our first round of the game. We are going to play multiple times this evening because I have had a fantastic day. I gotta tell you, this has just been one of those weeks that has just been like awesome. I hope you guys are all as having as awesome of a week as I am because it's really been that way. So Carol, I guess I should probably start saying last names, right? Because we had that problem with our Linda Lindas. Okay, so I'm digressing again. So I'm gonna push down my towel on my ink mat. So that was what I was doing while you guys were typing away. An ink mat is uh, super sticky. You can cut them to make them the sizes that you need them to be. This particular one is its original size. So it's 11 by 17, I haven't cut this one yet. You take your fabric and you smooth it out on the ink mat. Now the ink mat, honestly, I thought was a bunch of hooey. Totally thought it was a bunch of hooey when I started um, until I used it and then I realized oh my goodness this is a very nice tool to have a very nice tool to have what it does is it prevents the uh, ink from bleeding through to the other side especially important if you're doing a t-shirt um, it also holds your fabric in place so you notice I smoothed it out and all my wrinkles and everything went away that's important, especially if you're using um, a bumpier material, because you can smooth out the bumps, which give you a better ink. So it's a very nice tool to hold your fabric in place, not bleed through, and then uh, get a cleaner ink because it smooths out your bumps. Melissa in Canada said, oh my gosh, Melissa is having a horrible week, but you brighten my nights. Oh, thanks, Melissa. I'm so sorry that you're having a horrible week. I will pray for you, Melissa. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully it will get better because you know it's Thursday. It's almost over, right? You can start over next week. So on this one, because we're going to do it in the corner and this one has a angle down, I think we'll do this one in the corner because then it kind of goes with the towel. So I'm going to take my transfer. This is an adhesive silk screen transfer that Chalk Couture sells. Oh my gosh, you love this transfer, don't you? Huh, me too. If you wanted to know where 
you could see it, you would go to www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria, and you could see this beautiful, amazing transfer that says house plus love equals home. And I think this is so true because anybody can have four walls, right? It's the people inside of it and the love inside of it that makes it a home. So I love this transfer. Quite honestly, I think it's beautiful. And this makes a really nice housewarming gift. So if you know anybody that's buying a house, you could make them a cute little set of tea towels for not a ton of money. And they would have something handmade by you. So it would be fun to do. So what I do is I take my adhesive silk screen transfer and I put it face down. Now I have already written on the back of my transfer the name of the transfer. You do that so that you know which side of your backer sheet is the back and you can put it back on the proper uh, backer sheet when you're all done. Especially important when you're using more than one transfer in a night. Okay, so I put my transfer down and I smooth it out. Now this transfer has an amazing amount of screen space. We are going to use a lot of ink with this. But you do want to push all your air out and you're going to really push along all your edges, all your green lines, um, all these cute little letters so that they stick to the fabric. And when they stick to the fabric, they're gonna provide the barrier, which gives you the clean ink. Uh, sometimes when you have a big screen like this, it can be challenging. But if you really stick it down well, you're gonna be in good shape. Okay. So, I can feel my air, so I'm just pushing it out. You can always, you can feel air, you can hear air when it's not on fabric. It crunches, so just really pushing it down. It's also pressure sensitive, so it all, your transfer, so it helps it stick, putting some pressure on it. You don't need to do a ton, but now we need color. So, since you ladies have the potential of winning this towel when we go out into the world 10 times, tell me what color you would like it to be. Didn't know it was gonna be participative tonight, did you? So, Tide is very pretty. It's kind of a tealy blue. Oh, we could use the new, oh, this is Garden Herb. Very nice, very universal green. We could use Papaya, which is a kind of a pumpkin pie color. Um, trying to do something kind of neutral because you never know what color people's kitchens are. Oh, Current Jam. Oh, I guess I'm whipping all my inks all over. Um, current Jam is a very pretty maroon. I can always do navy. Y'all know about my love for navy. We could do a super sunshiny bumblebee yellow. Oh, fig. Don't you just love fig? I love all the ink colors. <laughs> so what are you feeling like? Tide, Carol says. Oh, Carol, that's a really good choice. I love me some Tide. Okay, so, oh, Heather says papaya. So we have, we're going to do multiple, we're going to do three towels. So I'm going to, the t colors you guys pick will be the three I do. So we'll do papaya and the next one we'll do Tide. Oh, which one do I have more of? Because this takes a lot. This one takes a lot of ink. Okay, we'll do this one in Tide. We'll do the next one in papaya. Yep. Although I have, I have more papaya. I have two papayas. I don't know why. And then we'll do one garden herb, I think. Because I haven't used this one yet. And I'm curious to see how it's going to look on a white towel. Okay, so now I can just zip up my inks and put them away. And let's play another round, should we? Come on, this is so much fun. I love giving stuff away. It's like the best part of the day. I, I look, really look forward to Thursdays. Hey, Jane, welcome to our chalk and party. Jan says Tide too. Okay, so this one we're going to do in Tide. And let's play another round of our game. Where did I put my cards? Okay, how do you lose a huge stack of... Oh, there they are. Looking at questions here. All right, let's do this one. Ready? Get your typing fingers ready. We're giving fun stuff away today because I've had an amazing week. Oh my gosh. Ready? Here you go. Name something you do while you soak. 
Hang on, I gotta turn cut myself. <laughs> okay, name something you do while you soak in the tub. And while you guys are typing away, I am going to ink. Always check your fingers every time you touch your ink container because you touch an ink container, you get ink on you. So you always check your fingers because if you have ink on your fingers and then you touch your material, you will not get it off. Always be conscious of where your lid is and your ink because, see, I touched it again, I get ink on me. So you want to be very aware of your ink because you don't want to, I've, and I've done this more times than I care to admit, where I've moved my fabric and I've moved it into my ink container and then I've ended up with ink where I did not want ink. So I'm just going to give this a quick clean up here. And then while you guys are typing away, then I'm done. When I'm done cleaning this up, I will, we will do our quick little funness. Okay, so again, I have no ink on my fingers. All right, here's our question. You ready? Name something you do while you soak in the tub. Okay, I'm going to turn my comments back on. Linda Linda says relax. Very good answer, Linda Linda, but that is the number two answer. Jan says read. Ding, 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 ding. Jan, you are the big winner. However, Jan, I don't think you can win because you're a designer. Maybe you can. I'm not sure on what that is on the company policy. But read is the answer. Jan wins. I'll send it to you anyway, Jan. Um, the number one answer is read. Number two is relax. Number three is listen to music. Oh, Linda Linda says close your eyes. <laughs> I know, I would close my eyes too. Daydream. Sing. In the bathtub, I suppose. My daughter, would, my daughter sings everywhere. And think. Hmm, that's an interesting answer. But 44 people out of the 100 said read. So Jan, you are our big winner. Okay, where's my list? I gotta write you down. Jan is winner number two. Carol is winner number one. We're gonna keep playing, so don't go anywhere because I'm having, I'm having way too much fun this week. All right, so I'm ready to pick my squeegee. Maybe we're not actually gonna get three towels done. I'm too busy having fun playing games and giving stuff away. So I push down my ink or my transfer and I'm ready to go. When I pick my squeegee, my squeegee has two sides. It has a flat side and it has an angled side. The angle is the front. When I squeegee, I hold my uh, squeegee down low. I do not hold my squeegee up high. The difference is when I hold it up high, I get a lot of resistance. When I hold it down low, I'm sorry, when I hold it up high, it's really floppy. When I hold it down low, I get better resistance and it helps me go across my project. Um, I'm gonna make sure I have this all up here. This is a really pretty towel. So, I'm ready to ink. When you ink, you load up your squeegee and you stick your squeegee down, not in the middle of your silk screen. If it was chalk, it wouldn't matter. But with ink, it matters because you'll get um, more of a blob, a more concentrated amount of ink in that spot. So, you noticed I opened up my ink and I just, I didn't stir, I didn't do anything. You don't have to stir ink. It is, um, because it's ink, it's not, you only stir chalk. You want to try to not go in five million directions, especially on a transfer like this one that has so much screen. Um, because it's, it's easy on a transfer like this with so much screen to get air and to have a bleed. And you notice, you can see through the silk screen how well I'm covering um, the fabric. So you do wanna make sure as you're looking at it that you have good coverage of the ink so that you don't have one spot that has lighter ink than the other because you will see that when you pull your transfer up. But this is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness, this is a pretty color. So, I am just squeegeeing away. Now, I'm being very careful not to take my squeegee off of my transfer. 
because if I take my squeegee off of my transfer, what will happen is I will get ink on my fabric and I'm going to get it off. Okay, so I just squeegee again, make sure I have good coverage of my ink, get all that excess ink off, put it right back in my container. Ink is nice in comparison to chalk because you have a lot of freedom with ink as far as time goes. You don't have the same pressure you have with chalk of chalk drying. Ink dries and it dries quickly. Um, or not, I mean it dries, but not as quick as uh, chalk. So you have a little bit of time. Now if this was chalk, oh my gosh, I'd be throwing my squeegee down and pulling off my transfer. But because it's ink, I don't have to do that. Okay, so check my fingers, which I now have ink all over. Of course I do. And check my fingers. I'm going to start it in the corner and pull it from the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do that because I don't want to uh, stretch my transfer. Oh! Oops, it's stuck to my ink mitt. It's very stuck to my ink mitt. That is darling. <sighs> very darling. Okay, so I take my transfer and I just stick it right in my water bath. I push it down in the water because once it's wet, it's not sticky anymore, and I know I'm going to put more transfers on top of it. Okay, this is adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I take my ink, and right away, I wiped off my squeegee, I cleaned it up, and I put my ink away because I don't want to move now, right? I'm going to move my material, and I really don't want to uh, move it into a lid or a container. The other thing I have to be very conscious of is this is wet because again it takes longer to dry. I need to dry it but I can't dry it with my ink mat in it or I'll, I'll melt my ink mat. So I'm going to very carefully pull it off of my ink mat. Okay. I don't want my fabric to touch itself. If my fabric touches itself I'm going to get ink where I don't want ink. So I pull my ink mat out. I think I'm safe. I'm safe. <laughs> it's a big towel. You got to be careful with it. So see how easy it is as your towel is moving around. If I had my lid open, that's how I pretty much have gotten it in the container. Oh, see, now look at my fingers. And I'm touching my towel. Always look at your fingers. Now, where did this come from? This came from my ink mat. My ink mat has ink on it, wet ink. So when you, t so container, lid, ink mat, when you touch them, check your fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick give this a dry. I don't need it to, to dry it completely. I just need to dry it enough that I'm not going to worry about it. And you can tell when it's dry. This is really cute. Good choice in color, lady. Ladies. Good choice, Carol. Good thing this is coming your way, Carol. <laughs> I'm dry enough now. So what I will do is when it's completely dry, which I will finish drying it to make it dry, I will iron it for four minutes on one side, flip it over, and iron it for four minutes on the other side. Then I can throw it in the washing machine, or Carol can throw it in the washing machine. Um, I use a Cricut Easy Press just because I have a attention deficit disorder. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't even know what really that is, but I have attention issues. Look, squirrel. Yeah, so I can't. I don't cannot have the patience to stand there and iron for four minutes. So I use my Cricut Easy Press, which takes thirty seconds. But if you don't have one of those, you iron. So here's our super cute little towel. I'm gonna move this aside, and we're gonna move on to our next one, which is the one Miss Mary was wondering about. So I hope Miss Mary either watches the replay or has joined us. I haven't seen that she's joined us. Um, she's in another time zone, I believe. So I'm, this is probably late for Miss Mary. So now we are going to do, oh, this is perfect for papaya too. Let our lives be full of thanks and giving. Because it's kind of a Thanksgiving color. So check in my fingers, opening up my towel. Finding my little hanger guy so that I know this is the equivalent to the top of my chalkboard, which you all know me. <laughs> I'm notorious for chalking upside down. So let's do this one the same way. I'm not sure which way Mary wanted to know. 
how to do it. But you could really, this transfer is narrow enough that you can do this really in any way on a towel. Because if you, if you fold your towel in thirds, which is how I tend to do it, um, it will be, it's narrow enough that it will work. So, I need my ink mat back, back. But, my ink mat has ink on it. So I'm going to show you what you do. First, I'm going to, I should have done that first. Okay? So I pick up my ink mat, which I throw on the floor to get it out of the way because it has ink on it. Now, as I think you can see, it has this big blob of blue ink in the middle of it, which is wet, because that's what bled through to the other side. So when you look at our towel, it has the ink on the other side. So what bled through it is now on my ink mat. Ink mats, you cannot use a wipe on. Can't use a disinfectant wipe, can't use a baby wipe. If you use them on it, you take the stick off of it. So you can rinse it, you can run it under water, or you can do what I do, which is I take a towel or a paper towel and I blot it. Because again, it doesn't take very long to dry, so it doesn't take much to get that ink off, and then you don't have to worry about it getting on your towel. And you know that it's safe because you push your towel down and when it stops coming up with ink on it, you're dry. This is how I do it for lives or in classes because we don't have time to wash them off. Um, if I'm inking towels just by myself, on my own, I just rinse it underwater. Because I'm usually not doing multiple towels at one time. Or I'm using different ink mats because I have enough of them. Okay, so I'm just blotting away. And the other thing that I can do is I can flip my ink mat around and put my blue up there. And, little trick here, flip that one because it has ink on it. I can put this, I can block it with another towel because I don't need my, um, my project isn't going to go that high. So I don't have to worry about it. That's one way also. But you do want to be conscious of it. You will have ink on your ink mat. Oh, these are nice towels. I'm so glad I found them. I've gone through a lot of uh, flower sack towels trying to come up with a good towel. And actually, Lori, Mrs. Baker, who's a baker, <laughs> um, the class that Lori, I met Lori at this week was the reason that I found these towels. Because I was in mad search. I must have bought like five different types of towels trying to come up with a good one. Okay. So, same process. Flip her over, pull off my backer sheet, put it down. And again, this is a really nice one for in the corner because it has, you know, let's get you more of a view. It has more, it, it just fits perfectly in here. Now this is a lot of letters. So you really you take your time and go up and down every single letter. Okay, ready to play? Should we play? Come on, let's play. <laughs> I'm really just a big kid at heart. I'm, I know you're all so shocked, right? Those of you that watch me regularly. I gotta know where you got those towels. Tammy, if you message me, I'll message you back where I got them from. I cannot, unfortunately, tell you because they're not a chocolate tour product live. I can't tell you, but I can tell you privately. Okay, so I'm just, again, making sure I have every single letter down. Now, we could do multiple colors. We could do that. We could do uh, garden herb and papaya together. That might be nice. What do you think of that? Should we do that? Kind of like we did it when we did this towel yesterday. These... These two colors look very nice together. We could do our greens and garden herb. We could do let our lives be full of and garden herb, thanks and giving and papaya, and then our leaves in green. What do you think? Let's answer that question and then we'll play another round of the game. Green, papaya, green or all papaya green what do you think while you guys are answering I'm gonna look for a good question
Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a very funny question. <laughs> this one's kind of fun. Okay, you guys aren't answering, or you're stuck in the delay. You're stuck in the delay because now I can see it on the screen. You haven't even you haven't even heard that yet. Ooh, that delay is really long tonight. Okay, so while you are answering, I'm going to open up our ink. Again, being very conscious of all papaya and green leaves, Carol says. Jan says, mmm. Tammy says, all papaya and green on leaves. Okay, thank you. Thank you, fellow chuck and friends. Okay, so I'm gonna put my lids far away from me. Again, I got ink on my fingers. Jan says green leaves. Hey, Janine, welcome to our chalk and party. We're playing some fun games tonight, Janine. We are playing Family Feud. Um, and we're giving stuff away. Because that's the fun part, right? I love to give stuff away. It's so much more fun. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, I got to turn my comments off. All right. That was off. I don't know why. All right, here we go. During an indoor game, indoor game, of hide and seek name a specific place that kids like to hide during an indoor game of hide and seek name a specific place where kids like to hide okay while you guys are answering that i am going to put down our papaya which is a beautiful where's my squeegee <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful color so i dip for a second I had my comments on. That was weird. But I don't. Okay. So I'm just squeegeeing away. Look at how fast you can make tea towels. So if you were being, if you were lucky enough to not have to make your own turkey <laughs> and going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, this would be a lov lovely, lovely hostess gift. I, this year, am also being lucky. I always make my turkey for Thanksgiving. I kind of have a thing about Thanksgiving. It's my holiday I like to be home for. Um, but this year, I am getting so lucky, I am going to visit our Texas friends. So they're going to make the turkey instead of me. Okay. So I take all my excess ink, put it right back in my container, I've already got ink on my fingers. I wipe off my squeegee. Okay, so in an indoor game of hide and seek, name a specific place kids like to hide. And I'm going to turn my comments back on before I do the green. That's the beauty of ink. I have time. Checking my fingers before I do all that. All right, let's turn my comments back on. Okay, Debbie Debbie says, yay. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer to the question, Debbie. Linda Squared says, closet. Ding, 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 ding. Linda Squared, you win. You are 100% correct. The number one answer is closet. Number two is under the bed. Number three is behind the couch. And number four is under the table. So Linda Squared is our big winner. Okay, now I need to focus like a laser beam and get this done. <laughs> and I need my green. Oh, look at how pretty this color is. This is going to be so much fun for the holidays. So much fun for the holidays. Take my excess, put it right back in my container. Wipe it down. So these particular transfers are the transfers we also made last night when we were talking about uh, in-home or virtual workshops where you can make uh, projects with your friends. You can do them virtually where you're not all in the same place or you can be in the same place and I'm not in the same place if you're not local to me. You can do them in-home where I come to your house if you're local to me. Although, you know, hey, I'd love to fly away, <laughs> but not necessarily feasible. And... Um, you can, so you can do them virtually where you're all in one place. So let's say, for example, you're in Texas. You can do it in Texas. 
and I send you all this stuff and then I get live with you and we uh, do a workshop that way. Your other option is, to, oh, this is cute, it's stuck to my anchor. Uh, Mary, I am so glad you had this idea. <laughs> Of, could I show you or could you could it fit on a towel I don't usually do B size transfers on a towel that is so nice oh my gosh this is so nice Wow okay so anyways I digress so if you do virtual then um, I mail you all the stuff if you do in home I come to you um, and you have your choice if you do virtual you can do it where you guys are all together and I'm just live or you know what you could chalk in your pajamas with all your friends wouldn't that be fun everybody in their own house then you don't have to clean your house or buy snacks <laughs> they have to do their own right because I'm just gonna dry it this is so cute but these are examples so these are the some of the transfers there's lots of transfers to pick from for an in-house workshop these are just some examples of them um, because workshops, you can pretty much do any surface and any transfer. You really decide what you want to do. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys some hints and some examples. Again, I'm just drying it and then I will heat set them. Okay, this is really pretty. This is, I love this papaya and this garden herb color together. So, again, I'm digressing. This is just an example of, now you own your transfer because you had a workshop. Now what do you do with it after that? You've made that one project. Well, you do other things with it. You make these really cute towels and give them away as gifts. Um, because we are really a fast approaching gift giving season. And in gift giving season, it's nice now to think about, okay, where am I going for Thanksgiving? And who can I make a hostess gift for? And do it now. And then you're all uh, wrapped up and ready to go so that it makes it much easier to just walk out the door and go with your mashed potatoes or pumpkin pie, whatever, you're, whatever you have to bring. <laughs> um, the other nice thing about it is for the holidays, these are beautiful gifts for your mailman, your teacher, your garbage guys, um, your neighbors, anybody that you know you just want to remember and you wanna say, hey, you know what, I was thinking about you so I made you something. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, depending on what holiday they celebrate. Um, and I just wanted you to know that I, you're important to me. It's just a really nice way to say thanks. And it can be a holiday towel. It can be a home decor towel, like the one that we did, the first one we did, where it isn't seasonal. It's really just housewise. So this is Let Our Lives Be Full of Thanks and Giving. Super fun. All right. Whew, we are on a roll, ladies. So now again... I have my ink mat, and I'm just going to uh, blot up my ink. No wipes on your ink mat. Now this one didn't bleed through as much. So that's probably because there wasn't as much ink on it. Well, thank you, Miss Mona, for telling me it is beautiful. Hey, Cheryl, welcome to our chalking party. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. We are good to go. One more, and then we're done. So, I'm going to, I'm kind of liking doing this in the corner. I've never done this before. Take my hanger. Put her up. Now, we, ooh, now we can do fun Halloween colors. Because this one is a Halloween towel. So we could totally go to town on this one. So we could, we could do multiple colors on this. Where did I put my inks? I am losing it today. Okay. So, I need our transfer, which is come in and sit a spell. So we could do our hat in black, our broom in almond. I think it's still called fawn in ink. Um, so it has a little broom. It has a hat. It has these, you know, surprise, <laughs> sprigs. The witch has come to town. Um, and then it has the words. So we can do this. And with these little guys, really take your time and go over every single one of those lines. Get your air out and push all your green down. Just really get in there. This 
especially these little lines on your hat. And our hat has some natural distressing to it, so it has those green dots in it. Um, sometimes I find those little dots don't always work so well with ink. We'll see. We're having pretty good luck here today. So let's do... Oh, you know what? I have more ink. Where's my black ink? Nope, there's my black. So we'll do our hat in black. Let's do our... I do not have bark yet. Oh, we could do... We'll do curry. We'll make our broom curry. And that's papaya. Where's orange peel? I don't have orange peel. Okay. So we'll do black, curry, and I think our words, should our words be orange, right? So we go back with papaya. I think that's really our best option. Black, green, orange, and purple. Ooh, black. Okay, so or, green and purple, we can do our, our sprays. We'll do our, okay, perfect. We're gonna go to town on this guy with colors. Where's my purple? There's my purple. We're gonna do regal. So we don't have as many colors in ink as we have in chalk. See, you, sometimes I always think, oh, I have that color, but I don't because it's not in ink yet. And then we'll do green. And we need papaya. Where'd papaya, oh, papaya's out. So we're gonna use a uh, green envy, which is a brighter green than garden herb. The last green we used was a more muted, more of an olive green. Um, so to give you an example, this is garden herb, this is green envy. So these are our colors for our towel. So this is a lot of different inks. So Maria is really gonna need to pay attention to where her lids are and where her squeegee is or she'll be a hot mess everywhere. So, I mean, don't you think the hat should be black? Or do you think, Debbie agrees with Carol. Right, the hat should be black. Okay, we're doing a black hat. Moving those guys, these guys out of the way. So we're gonna start with the black. So I'm gonna put all my inks out of the way. I'm only gonna open up my black. Ooh, this is a new one. Love it, I love new ink. So the thing I would tell you about black is black is very runny, very runny. So you do want to be careful with it because it's very easy to get a bleed the runnier it is. In fact, I'm gonna to switch to a smaller squeegee. I'm gonna use the mini squeegee. I'm, I'm just gonna dip and go. It's gonna be so much fun. I agree, Carol, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Because last night when we made this sign, we didn't use a lot of colors. So we're getting that opportunity. Now the other thing you gotta be conscious of is not going, you know, where we don't want it. Okay. But the nice thing about doing this transfer in multiple colors in ink versus doing it in chalk is I, I don't have that, oh my gosh, the clock is ticking as much. got my black. I set it down. I take my lid. I take a wipe. I wipe my squeegee off immediately. Yes. Oh, hey, Amanda. Welcome to our chalking party. Amanda says you should do an orange and yellow ombre on the words like candy corn. Amanda, that's a great idea. But then would, our, would it be funny on our broom? Okay, so I'm, I'm putting our black away and I'm checking my fingers. know how that'll work. That would be cute. That would be really cute. Oh, I don't want to do green yet. I want to do our words next. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do them just in papaya and then our yellow broom. Yeah, what do you think? I like that idea of a yellow and orange ombre. 
It's a good thing I have more time with ink than chalk, right? Or I'd be I'd be yelling at you if you were in a class. <laughs> I'd be saying, you're drying, you're drying, you gotta go. Oh, we're just gonna do orange, just for simplicity's sake. Again, being very cautious of, and I got a little bit of black. Oh, that's not on my squeegee. I just picked up the black. You do have to be careful when you have multiple colors like this. Again, just going down. I would be playing a game, another round of the game right now, except this one I gotta concentrate on because we're doing so many different colors. We will play another round when we're done. Because it's so much fun to give stuff away. I love giving stuff away. <laughs> I really think that that's all I should do, right? Is we should just chalk, have fun, chit chat, and give stuff away. Unfortunately, <laughs> Mr. Berman does not agree. Nor does the tax man. So I'm just getting in here because this has a combination. Now I'm going to switch squeegees, actually. I'm going to switch to the mini squeegee, but I'm going to remember that I have a squeegee with ink on it next to me. Because this is a combination. Ooh, this maybe wasn't the best idea. I should have looked at there's those little burst things are down here part of my broom. The other thing I, sh I should really probably switch to is the multi-purpose tool because that would let me get in here really easy. Okay. Now we got them. It's a lot of in and out. Okay. So we have our papaya down. I do that. I'm gonna wash off those. Now I have way too many squeegees. It may get too busy if you do ombre with all the details. Yeah. Okay, so I'm wiping off all my squeegees. So I don't have any ink anywhere. And I'm closing up my papaya. I'm gonna check my fingers. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Making sure I don't have any ink anywhere so that I can touch. We're gonna to do our cute little broom, and I'm pulling out my multi-purpose tool. I should probably move my squeegees out from underneath my towel. That might make things a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm taking my multi-purpose tool, and I'm just going to do our little broom. I love this. Ooh. See? Be careful. I love this color. This is curry. And I have to say, I did not use curry very much last year. Well, we only had it in ink last year. We didn't have it in chalk. This is our first year of curry in chalk. And this is going to become my very favorite color, I think. So my formal living room is gray. Everything in my house is either cream or gray. It's not a lot of variation in my house. But um, I accented with this yellow curry color and navy. And... Uh, it's fun. I'm so glad we have it because now I can totally go crazy. <laughs> Alright, so let's do some purple and green and I'm just going to go back and... Woo, shoot. If, if we get through this towel without ink on it in some place I didn't want it, can you even ombre ink? Amanda, yes you can ombre ink. Um, and it's not necessarily... It's not so much ombre like you're thinking where you mix the colors together. They just kind of meet because you can't really mix it because once the once the ink hits the fabric, it absorbs right into the fabric. But yes, you can do it. It just takes a little practice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just probably gonna do every couple, uh, I'm not gonna do this with any rhyme or reason because I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. But I'm just going to go back and forth with our green and our purple. Again, trying not to make it matchy-matchy. Just back and forth. Okay. Wipe off my squeegee. Close up my ink. 
The rest of them are going to be green or purple. <clears throat> they are already green. This regal, another one. Love this color. All of a sudden I had this thought that I was using the wrong green, but we used the right one. I'm going to have to look. I'm thinking, i got to figure out if I have, if... Hey, Debbie or Jan, do you know, Do is orange peel in ink, or is that only in chalk, the color orange peel? Because either I don't have it, which I have, trust me, I think I pretty much have every, every color that exists. Um, either I don't have it, or um, it's in the other room. That's the problem when you uh, craft in two rooms. You find things end up in different places. Okay, so I am covering up all my purple little lines. And we should be, oops, I got some down here. Ah, oh, this is a really tiny little spot to try to get into. There we go. Trying to get into the little tiny spot without getting it in other places that you don't want it. Okay, I think we're good. I think I got it, okay. I'll look at my catalog here in just a second, but I don't really think orange, I hope, I think orange peel would have come in. Ink, okay, check in my fingers, which I have ink on them. And maybe, Amanda, maybe we'll do that project. Let's do that. We'll ombre, not tonight, but another night. We'll ombre ink and see how it goes. I have, I've done it. I just haven't done it in a while. So, okay, we're ready to pull. This is so cute. Oh, goodness. Now, I know from your distance, you can't see the green and the purple. It just kind of looks like black. At least I think it does. But, oh my goodness, this was a good choice, people. Okay, I'm just going to click in my cute little catalog here. Yep, there's no orange peel. Papaya is the only orange color in ink. Now, you can make your own colors because you can, uh, thanks, Janine. You can mix them together. You can make your own. Okay, so. Whew, look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I take my ink mat out carefully without having my towel touch itself. I'm going to give it a quick dry so I can move it. These are really cute. And then I'll try to hold it up closer because I know you can't see the green and the purple. So ink dries relatively quickly because the fabric absorbs it. And once it's dry, then you just heat set it. Okay, so I'll hold it up here so that you can see the green and the purple. Look at how cute that is green and the purple. Oh my goodness. This is the purple. We have outdone ourselves, ladies. I, it's the towel. Really? <laughs> this is a very nice quality towel. These are nice towels. Whew, okay, let's play another round. Ready? Checking fingers. Okay, so we have our cute little towel here. We have our other cute little towel here. And we have one more. We have done a fantastic inking job this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob is out of town. <laughs> so hopefully he's not watching me. Hopefully he's having fun instead of watching us. Not that watching us isn't fun, but... And I don't... My brother's not watching us live. So the, And Mr. McCormick, let's see. I guess we do have quite a few gentlemen that watch us now that I 
say all of that out loud. I should, uh, we do have. So gentlemen, welcome and thank you for watching me. All right, so these are our three adorable little towels that we made this evening. Love them. I can't even say that one of them is more of my favorite than the other because they're all cute. They're all super cute. Okay, we need a question. Hmm. Need a good one. Might have to go to my secret stash of questions. Ready? <laughs> you ready? Fingers ready? The question is, name something that would make you work harder. Oh, turn my comments off. Name something that would make you work harder for your boss. Name something that would make you work harder for your boss. And while you guys are typing away and answering your questions, again, if you can send us out into the world, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me tremendously with Facebook when um, my video is sent out into the world. And it helps me because Facebook realizes that, oh, people wanna watch this or people are enjoying this. Just like when you comment and you hit the hearts um, or the wow face, those help me with the uh, Facebook stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you, which is what Thankful Thursday is all about. Thankful Thursday is where I really get the opportunity to say thank you for watching me Thank you for spending your evening with me. I know I talk too much and I make this take too long and I greatly appreciate that you hang out with me. You help me with my color choices and I'm so, so appreciative for all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, secondly, if you wanna see these amazing products, you can go to www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria and you can see all three of these transfers. These are also the three transfers three of the transfers. So when you do an in-home workshop or a virtual workshop, you can do any transfer. These are just some examples of easier ones, fun ones that are kind of universally have some appeal to it. So when you're getting your friends together, you know, they're fun ones that you don't have to think too much about. If you are not currently in the Making Maria VIP group, that's where we do additional fun things. So you want to be in that group. Um, if you're not in that group currently, you can comment add me and I will send you the link so you can request to join. Um, it's a very, I don't spend a lot of, I don't do a lot of things in there additionally to here except uh, specials and promotions and things like that. And then I do do some special artwork things in there that I don't do out here. So I guess I do do things in there, but it's not like it's spammy and I drive you crazy in there. At least I try not to. Um, if you're curious about what it means to be a chalk couture designer and you want to know why do I do this? How do I do this? And what are the benefits to being a designer? Um, let me know. And I would be more than happy to give you the information and then you can just check it out. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. And then last but not least, the Chuck Couture, uh, Club Couture is our monthly subscription where once a month for $19.99, you get a B-size transfer in the mail, three paste packets, they're delivered right to your door. And um, it's a guaranteed month of fun. So if you're interested in information about the club, you can comment club. Whew, those are all of my comments. Last one, to heat set your ink. You iron it for four minutes with a dry iron on whatever temperature your fabric will allow. Um, the highest temperature cotton, your, your cotton setting would be what you would do on your iron. You iron it for four, uh, four minutes on one side, you flip it over and you iron it for four minutes on the other side. That's how you heat set. Okay, Whew, thank you for listening to my, all my commercials. Name something that would make you work harder for your boss. Okay, I'm turning everything on. Cheryl says a promotion. Very good answer, Cheryl, but it is number four. There are only four answers for this question, and promotion is number four. She's my last answer that I have. Oh, Carol says promotion as well. Linda, Linda, Linda. Oh my gosh, Linda, Linda, you are the big winner. Ding, 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 ding. Linda said more money. Mm-hmm. 
That is the number one reason that people would work harder for their boss. Um, number one is a raise. Number two is appreciation. Three is a nice boss. And four is a promotion. So those are the four things that would make people work harder for their boss. Now, if you're a chocolate or independent designer, you're your own boss. <laughs> and you can do your own things, so you don't have to work harder for somebody else. You work harder for yourself and your friends that you get to have fun talking with. So Linda, Linda, you are our big winner. Boy, both the Lindas, Linda squared and Linda, Linda won. Linda, Linda. All right. Whew, this was Thankful Thursday. Oh my gosh, I talked for an hour and six minutes. I'm so sorry. But we had so much fun and look at our fun projects that we made. Oh my goodness. They're already dry. They're ready to be heat set. Um, I won't have an opportunity to mail your prizes until next week, Monday. So I apologize. Um, we're having out of town company tomorrow. So I uh, will not get to the post office until Monday. So I will mail out prizes on Monday. If you have any questions or uh, want to do a workshop, an in-house workshop or a virtual workshop, just let me know. I have one date. I have one date left for September. Um, so let me know if that's something that you're interested in doing because who wouldn't want to come and make some adorable things, right? Get together with your girlfriends and have some fun or boyfriends. Friends, let's just say friends. Get together with your friends. <laughs> oh, yay, Linda. I'm so glad you won. Okay, so I'm done. Thanks for watching me. I'm Aki Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to send it out into the world, that's great. And also, if you want to hit like and follow on uh, my page, that's even better. Because if you hit like and follow, then um, you get notified when I go live. You also want to check your notifications that it's not in uh, most relevant because then you don't get notified every time I go live. Um, you want it to be standard. So check your notifications to make sure it says standard and then you'll get notified every time I go live. Pretty much I go live every night of the week, Monday through Friday at 9 central time, 9 p.m. central time, with the exception of tomorrow night. So I try to let you know if I'm not going to be able to go. So here's our cute and adorable things. Thank you so, so much for watching me. Have a lovely evening and thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me. I am Maker Maria, your independent chocolate designer. Have a lovely night, ladies.